In this video, I'm going to be doing a spray test and unboxing of the Awada HP BCS Eclipse. Let's get into it right now. So here we have the box of the BCS. On the rear, you can see a quick diagram. It's got a two ounce, so 60 mil bottle. This is a suction feed airbrush and it runs a 0.5 mil needle nozzle setup. Siphon feed, dual action airbrush, high flow to atomize heavier mediums, durable, easy to clean compression fit nozzle, E5 head system, 35 to 55 PSI, optimal working pressure, quick flush cutaway handle. So go ahead and remove the sleeve. Cut open the box, open it up, and you can see what comes in the box. You've got a sticker, the quick start guide, gives you a couple of tips on how to airbrush. The water spray test, so this is done at the factory before they ship the brush. Every brush is tested. You get a tube of super lube, something that I don't really use, but you can if you wish. You get this Awada wrench to remove the head assembly. A 2 ounce or 60 mil suction feed bottle. See it's got the hose. That just screws back on. And of course the airbrush. So as you'd expect, super smooth. You can feel the quality straight away. And as I mentioned earlier, this has a 0.5 mil needle nozzle setup. So I'm just going to pop some paint in the bottle. I'm not going to fill it up. It's only for a bit of a spray test. And I'm using this Trident paint straight out of the bottle. No reducer this time because I'm running at a higher PSI, so I'll try that first. The suggested PSI for this brush is 35 to 55 PSI, and I'm running at around 40. So when you hook up the jar with any of these siphon feeds, I just like to go straight in like that and then twist it. Just like a gravity pot, you've got to breathe a hole at the top. So you need to make sure that that remains clear. And I also like to remove the air cap. Just be sure not to drop your airbrush because you could damage your needle and your nozzle. Pressing down for air, pulling back for paint. And you can see you can get pretty decent coverage really quickly. But I can also go up and get nice fine detail as well. This is a great brush for t-shirt artists or anyone that wants to spray a larger surface. So super smooth on that trigger and even with a 0.5 mil you can still get fine detail and again keep in mind this paint is not reduced at all so I reckon I'll add some reducer in now and I'll show you the performance once I do so. So I'm just going to squirt some of that reducer straight into the bottle, pop the lid back on, give it a bit of a shake and let that blast through. Still running some of that thicker paint that's stuck in the nozzle. You see how quick I can cover. Now we should be getting into that thinner stuff. You can see it flows really nice. Tip drying a little bit. So I just carefully pick that off with my fingernail. If you're not confident doing that, because you have to be careful, especially with the finer needles, then I recommend using a cotton bud or something like that to dip that in some reduce or airbrush cleaner, and then you can wipe the tip drying off that way. Even a bit of paper towel works. So I think it's flowing a little bit better. So by playing around with adding more reducer and then dropping down your air pressure, you can definitely get better performance and finer detail out of this brush, even with a 0.5 mil needle nozzle setup. So if you're looking for a great all round siphon feed airbrush, then the Awada HP BCS Eclipse is a perfect choice for you.